What is up guys? Welcome to another video. I hope that you guys are all doing good. In this video, we're going to break down the new set photos from the Superman movie. So without further ado, guys, let's get straight into today's video. And do not forget to like, comment and share because it helps us out in the algorithm. Okay, so the first set photo which I am looking at here is a picture of Lois. I'm loving Lois. Lois is one of my favorite characters. And growing up, I used to watch what the Lois and Clark series. So yeah, the actress which played Lois uh, in that series, I think she is the best Lois to date. Lois, come on, you haven't said a word since 1866. You are the lowest form of life imaginable. Not what I was hoping for, but I guess to start. You're a liar, there's nothing worse. Lois, I did not lie to you. Oh. I just told you certain facts to keep you from finding out about certain other facts. You know, you ought to run for president. Oh, but you can't. You weren't born here. Then again, you could just lie. Look at you right now, renting a car. That's a big fat lie. What do you need a car for? You're Superman. While I think Amy Adams was a good Lois Lane, I still don't think that she is as good as the original Lois. Because what? I grew up watching the Lois and Clark series. So... It's very near and dear to my heart. Uh, now, let's see here. We got some other set photos. It's a picture of Lois, Perry White there, and Jimmy Olsen. They're coming out of some kind of like a spaceship, I think. That's very interesting. It's looking good. I'm, I'm hopeful. Uh, if you guys have seen my previous videos on this movie, I've been very critical on the fact that what the Scooby-Doo director is directing one of the greatest superheroes of all time. So that one keeps me up at night. So after the initial leak of the James Gunn Superman suit, you'll remember we were pretty unimpressed. But one of the most common things that was said was, wait, you haven't seen him standing up yet. You haven't seen him in the proper lighting yet. So don't judge. Well, now we have those pictures. That said, my first impression is the suit looks like it's too big for him. Brother, ugh. Yeah, I'm surprised that with all the time they had on this, that they couldn't get a suit that fit it. And I know people are gonna say, like, we don't know what they're gonna do in post. There's no excuse for how bad this looks on set. We'll find it in the edit. Yeah, there's no excuse for how loose this looks. Like, you guys, get a seamstress, tighten it up. Well, and they clearly have a contoured around his midsection to give the illusion of strength and an abdomen that's visible, but you can't see his abs through it. So are they just gonna post-production spray paint on abs? It looks like they already tried a little bit. <laughs> It just looks silly. And I don't know if it's like they thought he was going to be bulkier and he just didn't gain as much weight as he was supposed to, or mm. it fit originally and he's actually slimmed down a little bit or what? Uh, thinking that James Gunn is actually directing this movie. I would have wanted maybe a George Miller, maybe the, the director of Mad Max to direct this one as well. Uh, but then again, he's, he's a bit older. You could have even gotten what Ben Affleck, but Ben Affleck, yes, he's not, he's not sober. So I understand why they went the James Gunn route. They needed what a director, which is experienced when it comes to what comic book movies and James Gunn has directed some comic book movies, just like when he did a film called super. I knew I was losing her. Excuse me, have you seen my wife? I don't think she wants to see you anymore. What? Sarah! Don't touch my car again. That's one of my favorite James Gunn movies. And that is the only James Gunn movie that I like. Uh, and of course, Scooby-Doo. But uh, yeah, we're not gonna sit and bash James Gunn because he's getting it a lot from a lot of fans. Now, let's look at the suit. Um, I think it's a little clunky. I think it should have been a little more padded, but it's growing on me. It's, I don't hate it. I think what, yes, of course, Henry Cavill's version was way better. It's very difficult to, I think style-wise, to compete with Zack Snyder because he is very, very talented when it comes to style. I think Zack Snyder is the best stylistic director which I have ever seen. 
I mean, his movies are just visually, they're breathtaking. So I really love that fact about Zack Snyder, but I'm not gonna shit on James Gunn. I'm gonna give him a chance. I'm gonna give him a shot. In previous videos, I've talked about that he is a garbage director, which I still think, but then again, there's nothing more that we can do. He's our director for this movie and I'm just gonna have to accept it. I think it's the materials. I think they made a weird choice trying to go with this like neoprene looking rubber. You have the good ideas. Shut up. And it doesn't look like it moves very well. When he's standing absolutely still, it looks okay. It doesn't look great because the shape is weird, but as soon as he even slightly bends over, it's just wrinkling and making it look like those little kids Halloween costumes. Yes. You know, the ones that have the muscle built in and it looks great when they're standing <laughs> like a statue. The second they turn, you're like, oh, well, that's padding. I was going to say, it definitely looks like there's padding in there, though. The other thing is, for all the purists who wanted this to be the iconic Superman suit, this certainly is an iconic. It's a hodgepodge of different ideas. None of them are what I would say is like the most iconic rendition of these ideas. I don't love it but it's looking okay. And uh, I can say one very positive thing that I like about James Gunn is the fact that he's very comic book accurate. So I'm starting to see that on the set photos right now that yes, he's taking a lot from the comics and a lot from what the animated movie, <sighs> the good times, the good times. Man, I miss Zack Snyder. I would have wanted to see Zack Snyder direct a post-apocalyptic Superman movie. George Miller or Zack Snyder, one of them. And the thing with Zack Snyder, I think he's a good director as well. You just need to give him room to create. And the studio, I felt, didn't really do that. But look at these visuals, guys. They are breathtaking. Uh, if they just released this picture at first, I think a lot of people would have been more receptive to the Superman suit. But now I kind of feel like they killed the buzz with the first picture because the first picture that they released, guys, that one was garbage. I did not like that one at all. So we just got our first real look at the Superman suit, the one for James Gunn's new Superman movie. And yes, there has been the official reveal, which I thought was terrible. And over the weekend, we did get some photos of Superman in the suit in photos in the newspaper. And although I talked about it on Twitter and I talked about it on stream earlier today before these new photos started coming out, today definitely changes things. What did he say? <laughs> these new photos of Superman have changed my mind about the movie. And I don't know, there's something about Superman sitting there putting on his boots like he did not really want to be Superman and I'm not a fan of when Superman doesn't want to be Superman. I want to see Superman confident and like just being Superman. That's what I like about what the, the Lewis and Clark series, uh, that they had more time to flush out the character. So I'm like, if we can get that in this movie, that would be good. Ben Affleck as Superman. Man, this guy would be so talented if he wasn't a drunk. It kind of looks a little bit like Guardians of the Galaxy, now that I think of it. But this is classic Superman. The new 52, classic. Let's see here, do we have any other set photos? Here we have. But yeah, looking at that, guys. Yeah, that looks really good. It does. I'm not gonna be a hater. I'm not. James Gunn has gotten a lot of hate. He has. I was looking at what a lot of videos, people are just like, oh, this is garbage. The suit sucks. But I don't hate the suit. I don't. All right. <laughs> this is not working for me whatsoever. I'm a little bit in the middle, don't hate it, don't love it, but I'm like, I'm gonna give it a chance, 
I'm gonna give it a shot. Oh boy. Looks baggy, just like everybody else said. No muscles in it. Jeez. Christopher Reeve's suit was better. All the Superman suits are better than this. And this is something which I've missed when it comes to these what Superman movies is that the characters are not happy. So if we can bring some joy into these movies, oh, that would be perfect. But this one, bro, if they just released this photo first, people would have been so receptive. The trunks do look pretty cool, I guess. I thought they would look more corny, but they do look pretty decent. I'm not gonna lie to you. So this is a pretty cool image. It's cool to see Mr. Terrific, you know, some of the lesser known DC characters getting in there. Um, this next image here is actually showing that the color vibrancy and the tone of color matching on this suit kind of does vary from image to image. As you can see here, it doesn't look as bright as it did in other pictures, like this one right here where Corn Sweat's kind of looking up in the sky this little truck in the background there the suit colors do look decent man i'm not gonna lie to you guys bro and in comparison to the original suit leak this definitely does look better color wise i think they looked at some of the feedback for that and we're like all right we can switch some things up we're gonna switch up the lighting and we're gonna switch up the areas and maybe not have the first reveal for a live action 200 million dollar movie suit be projected in a freaking apartment with ai beams going on in the background in a weird battle damage suit that's creasing anyways but Overall, I'm okay with the suit. Uh, I have to give it a good six, a six out of 10. I'm okay with the suit. I don't hate it, but yeah, that's where I want to end this specific video. Guys, I'm very excited when it comes to this version of Superman. I don't hate it. I don't, I'm like, there's nothing more that DC can do to disappoint me. There's, there's nothing more. So I'm like, I have no expectations when it comes to this movie. I hope it does well. I don't like James Gunn. I still think that they should fire James Gunn. But then again, let James Gunn do what he needs to do in order to create a masterpiece. Do I think that this is going to be a masterpiece? No, I do not think that this is going to be a masterpiece, but I hope so. I want to be pleasantly surprised. So I'm not going to have any expectations when it comes to this Superman movie. Uh, I really like the fact that he what he's towering over uh, the military men and uh, Lois and Clark seem to have a lot of chemistry. And yeah, I like this last photo. But anyway, guys. That's all for me. Leave it in the comment section what you guys think. Do you think that this is going to be a good movie or do you think that it's going to be trash?